what's up guys welcome to another video today we are going to be taking a look on how to give your character a voice so you can achieve extreme realism with your ai influences so today morning i decided that i'm going to learn how can i create voices for my ai influencers and i was like but it's gonna take hours it's gonna be like a lot of pain and stuff like that well in a 30 minutes I think I mastered it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the exact steps you have to take. I'm going to show you the tools so you can generate an audio just like that. Before we start the video, first of all, why you should want to give your AI influencer a voice? Well, first of all, it's easier than ever. It adds authenticity. And you know, when you watch a movie, people say that 50% of it is the audio. So if you can do an audio to your AI influencers, you are going to have a 50% better results. So what are the use cases? Well, first of all, you can send people a voice messages. So if you don't text someone, but you send him a voice note, it's going to be much more personalized. You can create reels when you talk over the video. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And you can also create lip sync video. In this video, we are not going to be talking about how to do lip sync. This is for tomorrow's video. So to show you the voice messages that you can send, you can just, you know, record something like this. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> so he have a proof that I am actually real. I can't wait to meet you. Well, that's fucked up, right? And what you can do as well, that you can take some clips of your AI influencers, just, you know, put them over and create a reel when you talk about anything you want. Like, look at this. This took me literally minutes to make. It doesn't have the perfect videos, but you get the point. Look at this. Hey guys, welcome to my day in the life of a gym girl. <laughs> so after doing my skincare in the morning, I went to the gym. Today was leg day. I was super excited to do hip thrusts because I'm about to hit 100 kilograms. So, you know, like if you play around with it a bit, you can do like so fucking amazing things that it's insane. So now, you know why you should do that. What are the use cases? Now we are going to be talking about the tools. There are many voice generators online. I have tried like five of them. But the only one that I could get a good consistent result with a lot of personalization was 11 Labs. So today we are going to be using 11 Labs, but like there might be something else, but this is what worked for me. And this is what created the voices that you have just heard. Process is going to have two steps. It's fucking simple. First of all, you create a voice by doing a text prompt and then you just generate the messages. It's that simple. So when you go to 11 Labs, here you can find voices. So you click on the plus button and you see that you can design a voice, design an entirely new voice from a text prompt. So we are going to choose that. And now you are going to describe the girl. If you want to have some best practices, you can look at this website. But if you like describe some of the features, it will do that. I mean, like you can do pretty much anything. You see very cranky voice of a 20 year old British girl. She is a smoker, but sounds cute. Now we click on generate voice. It generates in literally a few seconds. And then you will see that we will have three options. So we can see now it generated three voices and we have to select one. So when we play the first one, we can hear it. Honestly, I'm so over this. Like, why does everything have to be such a faff? I just wanted a quiet So you see, you see, there's the first voice. Now we have the second one. Honestly, I'm so over this. Like, why does everything have to be such a fan? And the first one. <sighs> Honestly, I'm so over this. La well, that's stupid. So we are going to go Honestly. with the second one. So you do select voice. You name it whatever you want. You choose the language which you are going to speak in. And you just save the voice. This is it. This is completely everything you need to do for the voice design. You don't need to do anything else. And now you go to text to speech, you go to settings, you choose the voice that you have just created. See, it's not shown here. So we have to click here and do all saved voices. And this is the one that we have created right now. So you are going to choose this 
And now you have two options of the voice model that you can choose. You can either use the 11v3 alpha, which can do the emotions very well, as you have seen, or you can use the v2 model. I recommend you experiment with both of them, but we are gonna choose this one because this can create much bigger emotions. Now, the only thing you do is to type what is the girl gonna say. So when you have your text typed, as you can see here, you click on this button, enhance alpha. This will add the emotions to this, and you see you can either undo it or keep it. So we can keep it, and if you click once again, sometimes it adds something more. Now it didn't edit anything, that's okay. Now the only thing you do is to click generate speech, and you are done. That's it. Man, I'm so tired right now. I just drank four coffees, monster, and I still could go to sleep. And the second version? Man, I'm so tired right now. I just drank four coffees, monster, and I still could go to sleep. And if you want, on the right side of the page, you can play around with the stability. Either it's more creative, natural, or robust. I recommend you do the creative one, because then, in my experience, it can do heavier emotions. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to join our Discord and I'm going to see you at the next video where we are going to be talking about lip sync your talking AI influencer.